everybody welcome my name is Fernando and in this video I will be showing you how to use FileZilla uh, to upload files in your FTP and I'm going to be doing a little bit more of a simple video um, pretty much from the start to show you how to actually access it if you're you know new to FTPs basically what they are how to use them how to access them and um, how to access them in your website once you have them uh, installed okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, filezilla.net, okay? And then from here, you can actually download the file. All right, now FileZilla is actually free, okay? So you never have to pay for it, okay? So what this is, is FileZilla is an FTP client, okay? So if you are using, for example, this one, this site that I have right here is a WordPress site. So if you're using, for example, a WordPress site, and you need to upload some information or some files that are maybe too large um, to be uploaded on WordPress and you need to use an FTP um, or you need to access an FTP to upload some different files um, then FileZilla is what you would be using okay so I've already have mine downloaded let me go ahead and open it up alrighty and so if I just go to the back end of my WordPress here just so we can compare and we'll open up the FileZilla. Alrighty. So basically, this right here is after you install it, this is what it looks like. Okay, now if you're new to WordPress, you're going to be pretty confused um, because you know you probably haven't learned how to navigate through this just yet. Um, but not to worry, as time goes on, you'll definitely go ahead and, and pick it up and, and little by little learn how to do this. So the very first thing you need to do is for your host, it's going to be your primary domain name that you used. Um, in your hosting account, okay. So I'm just going to enter mine. Okay, your username is going to be your username for your cPanel. Okay, so for example, I use a uh, HostGator. So um, right here, I'm going to put in my cPanel username, and then you put in your password. Okay, for the same cPanel, and then you just do quick connect. And it'll go through all this. It'll confirm everything for you. And over here on the right, it's going to start populating. <clears throat> okay, so pretty much here are all the files that exist in my cPanel already. So if you have multiple websites, um, all that information, you can access it all at once instead of having to go to the dashboard of every single website or something like that. So if you're working on multiple sites, this will be good as well. Okay, now from here, this axis over here on my left hand side, this is my. Um, information from my web from my computer okay so for example if I needed a load of a video or maybe some documents um, pretty much from here I would click and drag and drop and it would transfer it automatically um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to access the site that I'm on right now so this site is Fernando Nunez Jr. com okay so we're going to go ahead and look for it all right and this one it's going to be under the www because I have multiple domain names Double click on it and it'll open up. Okay, so these are all the domain names, the files that I have um, under my server at this time. Okay, so I'm just going to find mine, the one that I'm working on right now, which is right here, and open it up. Okay, and now this right here is going to be the main um, file. Okay, this is going to have uh, your sitemaps. If you're using themes, it's going to have all this right here as well. Okay, now if you want to access your content, such as videos, um, any kind of audio or pictures, or any kind of graphics, then you're going to go over here to WordPress content, click on that, and then all the content that I have in my back end is going to be up here. Now where you're going to go from there is you're going to go to uploads, and I'm going to go to this year 2014. And let's just go to the last file that I've probably uploaded some stuff on. Okay. So these are a whole bunch of pictures that I have on the site. All right. And so if I wanted to click on it, I would just double click on this one and it would start downloading to my computer at the time. Okay. So just for an example, double click on it and it starts transferring over to the file that I have here on the left, which is my download folder. Um, on my computer okay 
and so now I have it over there. Now, for example, let's say I wanted to bring a picture from my computer over to my FTP file. All right, let me find a graphic here. There we go. So then I just click and drag, and I drop it. And this one's already in there, so I'm just going to rename it just for demonstration purposes. I click OK, and it'll start transferring. Alrighty, now that was fairly quick. If it's a larger file, such as a video, um, it will take a couple of hours if it's a large file for it to transfer over. Um, but most text files or small graphics will transfer over fairly quickly. Okay. And so this is just another way to use your FTP file as opposed to going to, for example, your media inside of your inside of the dashboard on your WordPress site. Okay, this would just be another way of doing it this way. Now, after you, let's say, for example, you are loading um, videos and graphics on your FTP file, it's not going to automatically show up in your uh, media library. Okay, because you actually need a plugin to grab that information from the FileZilla folder to, for, to have it show up here. So what you need is if we go over to plugins, let's see, medium, let me go to another site that I have that plugin available. Alright, yeah, there it is. Add from server. Okay. So if you go to plugins and you add new, at this point you just go uh, search add from server, search plugins. And there it is. Okay, so I already have it installed. Um, so this is the plugin that you're going to need to grab some information that you upload here. Okay, so to populate in your dashboard. So we'll just go to media and go to add from server after it's been activated and downloaded. Okay, now this is all the information, all the files that I have that you see right here. Okay. Um, now, because I have this plugin, it's able to access this. Without that plugin, you know, you wouldn't be able to see this. Uh, now, let's say, for example, this was just a file that I uploaded in the FileZilla FTP. Then you would simply click on it, and you would import it. And then at that point, once you import it, then you can see it in your actual content file for your media. Alrighty, so this one already exists because I already had it in there, but uh, just for example, just so I can show you, let's say it wasn't in there, then here it is, here's the zip that I transferred over. Now this one was actually a file that I did use earlier because the file, this one's fairly large, okay, so I had actually transferred over from FileZilla, okay, so that's how you access that. So just to recap, Okay. If you have multiple sites, then just go to your www folder and it'll have your multiple sites there. If you just have the single site, then your site will automatically just populate on top. And then from there you can access the folders that you need to access. Okay, so this is what you'll see if you just have that one the one file. Okay. Alrighty, well that's the conclusion of this video. Hope it was uh hope you got some information out of it. If you do have any questions, you can uh, please write a comment on there. Or you can visit my site at FernandoNunezJr.com, and I would be more than happy to provide any other information to you. Thank you very much, and have a great day.